for the record from the creator of the award-winning Remarkable Results Radio Podcast. Now, listen to a slice of wisdom, a concept, a sentiment, a theory, and maybe even a rant from one of your industry colleagues for the record. Hey, welcome to For the Record, episode 31 with Brent Bowman from Highway 7 Service Center in Newell, Iowa. Carm Capriato here. And in just a few seconds, Brent Bowman says we need to face the fact that we have a leadership deficit. Hey, I'm happy you're enjoying the For the Record podcast series as it flows in your listening app. You get a chance to listen to opinions from your industry colleagues right along with all the long-form audio interviews where the context of the aftermarket is on full display for your listening intake. Hey, many thanks to our sponsor, FlexCheck Auto Digital Vehicle Inspection Software, is the most transparent way to do business. But you don't have to take our word for it. One satisfied user reports, and I quote, the ability to send pictures and videos lets the customer have a better understanding of what we're recommending to them. And this increased transparency has been extremely valuable to our shop. Translating to an over $100 increase in ARO since implementing FlexCheck Auto. Now try it for free for 30 days. Check out flexcheckauto.com for more information. Hey, 2019 will be another very busy year as I'm attending the industry's premier events, and I do hope to see you there and hear firsthand from you on how the podcast has helped you and your business. So glad to have you here and engaged with your fellow aftermarket colleagues. Now Brent Bowman has a strong opinion on the technician shortage. He says he's not playing in that sandbox. He has his thoughts and disciplines on how he is tackling it head on. Brett's talking points and links to his previous episodes can be found on the show notes page at remarkableresults.biz slash F031. Okay, as you know, the views and opinions expressed are those of my guest and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the author, sponsors, associates, or affiliates of LSTN Media, LLC. Now here's Brent Bowman with his Mad Butcher story for the record. Hello, everybody. This is Brett Bowman from Highway 7 Service Center in Newell, Iowa. And today's rant was originally going to start out as the technician shortage. However, I don't think that is only but the issue um, to solve it. I think it's more of uh, when you talk about leadership deficit. So I want to talk to you about a few things, and I want to start out with a couple stories. And one story is a story I read about the Mad Butcher and the book, See You at the Top, is Zig Ziglar. Talks about a butcher in a small town that uh, had a grocery store that uh, he grew up in with his mother running it. And after the war, uh, got handed that grocery store. And things were great. Things were successful. Went to the bank and wanted to expand the business, make it bigger. And he did. However, with that success also came a little bit of a trial. Other businesses found out that uh, this town was a place to put a grocery store in. So they started putting supermarkets in as well. And they started beating him. And they called him the Mad Butcher because he was selling things at such a low price, he was selling them below his cost and trying to beat these guys in business. However, his short-sighted thinking wasn't working. So he had more of a visionary type thinking, looked towards a bigger picture and decided, I'm gonna start building people. I'm going to start making all of our people so enthusiastic and give them such a great attitude and what they do in this business because they have a purpose in this business that we're going to win. Years went by, took some time, but little do we, I mean, as the story plays out, the Mad Butcher reigned and won and conquered in that business. See, he put people first. There's also another story. It goes with, a little bit of training, but I don't want to use training as the word. Let's use developing. Let's use developing. So there's a restaurant, actually there's a couple of them, and they hire prisoners to cook, to wait on tables, to learn about the business, handle the numbers, and they're successful. They make some of the greatest food out there for people. And these are prisoners. So here's the point I'm trying to get at is, with the right leadership involved there, people can be developed. Andrew Carnegie had 30 millionaires working for him in the early 1900s. People asked him, how do you have 30 millionaires working for him? And he said, well, they weren't millionaires when I hired them. 
And he said, it's a lot like mining for gold. He said, when you start, you may have tons of dirt to find a gold nugget. But when you start mining for gold, you overlook the dirt because you see the gold in the end. So, you know, few successful people are successful unless people want them to be. And I think training is fantastic. I think it's something that we need to start doing as business owners and leaders. Um, mentoring, I say, is better. But again, there's that word development. Development is, is incredible. And the only worst thing than developing people and losing them is not developing them and losing them. So we need to get over ourselves a little bit and realize that we need to quit being so insecure with ourselves. We need to start investing in people. You know, another thing I want to bring up too is a, is a point is I read in a book and it was about how you read in the newspaper and we always want to assume that good salespeople, we always say that person's a born salesman, right? It's funny though, but when they're born and they start saying the names, there's never that occupation attached to their name. Now, maybe in the obituaries it is. So we're not, we're not born with these abilities. How do we get them? You know, another thing to bring it up to that point to where our responsibilities lie. I mean, we're all business owners here, most of, and technicians that are probably listening to this, but every day organizations around the world, including the one you run, are responsible for the greatest waste in business. That's human potential. We need to remember that, what we're really doing here. Again, remember that vision. We need to start giving people an opportunity to work for more than just a job. Maybe even more than just for success. How about significance? Have you ever asked any of the people that work for you, what's their purpose? If they don't know, can you help them find it? Or what's their dream? We need to start kind of getting outside of our comfort zones. We need to start trying to lead our people. We need to start treating it more as an investment, not, not, not as a, I got profit today, I guess, type thing, not the short sighted stuff. We need to start investing in our people. So there's this formula I also ran across too. It's called rate. It's the rate formula. Relationship plus attitude times talent plus expectation equals production. Are we doing that? I hope so. It's time to start asking yourselves questions. It's time for vision. It's time to unify for a purpose. We need to start to not only see and understand, but more importantly, we need to act. I've been listening to a lot of these podcasts lately, and we, we talk a lot. There's a lot of talk. Where's the action? One thing I heard not too long ago is where's the verb? Love that. Awesome. So we can't let our conditions control our attitude. We need to let our attitude control our conditions because seriously, it's a choice. You can, you can easily. Now I threw a lot of things out there today. Um, like the mad butcher story, um, the prisoner story. There's also, you know, Andrew Carnegie, what he said. Um, also another story that comes to my mind was a gas station, I believe in Michigan, um, where this guy was so well known for his training ability and developing people, um, where actually now he is more or less sought out as a development person of, of people for big companies. The whole goal is not to have the person work there forever, but two years, you gotta, you should be out of here. The point I'm going to make here in all these stories is at the end of all of these stories, I never heard once uh, failure. I've never heard of profit loss. I just heard success and look at where they are now. If we're not developing our people, we're, we're only limiting ourselves. The best thing I've read was you don't build a business, you build a people and then they build a business. So here's the question. Will you invest in your people?
Will you invest in others? Can you be a visionary and not be so short-sighted? If you're answering some of these questions and say, I don't know, hey, don't worry, me too. I'm kind of right there with you. I have many days where it's really hard to get through that day and not hit that goal and have to realize I have other goals that are well more worth than just today's bottom line. Because if I can't hit the bottom line five to 10 years, because I'm trying to make all these short, quick adjustments, trying to buy these technicians that don't exist. I mean, we're all looking for this rock star to come in where we can just insert them. Let's face it, they don't exist. We need to get in the people building business. I mean, we're already in the people business with our customers. Why aren't we doing it internally? It's possible. And that's just, here's the thing. It, this is all possible. All of it. You can do all of it. Literally, you just have to choose it. So let's stop talking about it and let's start doing it. And help me out on this too, because there's going to be the days where I'm going to say it's hard and me too, but we need to be visionaries. We need to have those long-term goals. We need to start developing our people, not training. Let's develop and hit that road to success. I hope that helps. That's my rant for today. I'm not willing to buy in for the technician shortage. I don't believe it. I won't participate in it. But I do say we, we do have to develop ourselves, develop ourselves as leaders so we can develop others. This is Brett Bowman from Highway 7 Service Center in Newell, Iowa. Thanks for listening to For the Record from Remarkable Results Radio. Subscribe to the show on your favorite podcast listening app. Find all Remarkable Results podcast content at remarkableresults.biz.